Yes? Ooh. Now welcome back to the flight simulator and a very interesting challenge as always today landing a triple seven But properly see you know I've always had a few issues landing the triple seven smoothly and nicely in the past Let me see what I can do now, right? Just trying to really make this smooth here. Yes, I'm intending to do a butter landing now. How about that? Oh, please please make it smooth. Please be smooth landing landing. Oh, Okay, that wasn't smooth actually. Wait, <clears throat> let's try to stop this plane here now. We don't have much of this runway left here. Okay, fully into the brakes, fully into the reverse thrust. Come on, we can stop. Come on. Okay, that's been close. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The Boeing 777, known for being a bit of a big plane, which does actually affect the handling quite much, as you can clearly tell. Flying this plane properly, especially on short runways, is a bit of a problem. And then when you try to do a smooth landing, that's uh, another problem. That actually has been a good landing. Like, so somewhat good. Yeah, that was not smooth though. That was alright, but not smooth. You know what I mean? It's pretty hard to do that in the Boeing 777. And again, I've struggled with it in the past. So, let's go ahead and master the Boeing 777 landings today. You know, land it all around the world at some interesting airports. How about that? Alright then, uh, <clears throat> now we're approaching the airport of Andorra, 1300 meter long runway, with this 777, which is like half as long as the runway itself. I mean, we do have to say though, these engines that we have on board here, the GE90 engines, are uh, quite powerful. In fact, they are the most powerful powerful engines on this planet. Yeah, actually bigger than the 737 fuselage, so um, this could be interesting. Let's come in for a landing, hopefully make it smooth. You know, our record so far has been 170, I think, feet per minute. So it is time now to beat that record and make it even smoother. I'm really just trying to make that, <laughs> make that achievement here. Okay, coming in nicely for this runway and oh, ooh. See, this is the problem. You tend to very much underestimate the size of this plane. And uh, so uh, I, I, I think I flew into a mountain, kind of. Let's check this one out. Oh, well, this hasn't particularly worked. Okay. Not a smooth landing. We, sh we shall try that again. I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> oh, we can hear clapping in the background for some reason. Is this one of those add-on planes that have actual passengers on board and um, that are, you know, they are actually forced to clap whenever I land, which is quite nice, you know, when you have a landing, which is clapped for. Maybe that's not nice, actually. Don't clap on a plane, by the way. Whatever, let's just try to make this smooth of a landing. See, again, the handling of this plane is really tough. It's like not a very easy plane to handle around at short runways like this. Because at the short runways like this and weird approaches, you, of course, have to take very big turns always. And you have to really touch down on this the beginning of the runway. You don't really have this whole control here with this kind of plane. Let's try this now. Getting this plane uh, good uh, landed. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Actually, actually no. Oh please don't die again. That would be great. Yeah, see, this plane really likes to touch the ground. That's actually a good thing, because I would rather have the plane touch down than it not touch down on a landing office. But, uh, come on. It is very easy to make a hard landing in this plane. Let me just say that. Especially flaying this plane. You would lose a lot of speed, making this plane literally drop like a stone. Let's see how this is going to work now. Touching down on this runway. Somewhat professionally. Come on. I mean, it's been acceptably hard, you know what I mean? This has not been, like, completely destructively hard. That was okay. Ah, come on. But we can do this better. Again, really, flying the 777, I've not made much smooth landings with it. And actually, wait, are we gonna overrun now? Yeah. Fairly close, though. Great. Let's, uh, see how, how this worked. Huh. That's actually been fine enough. I mean, from the outside, this thing doesn't look like hard at all, right? I mean, this isn't a big plane, so a 300 feet per minute landing isn't that much of a, you know, badly looking landing. But still, we could do definitely better. Come on. Oh, man. Okay, how about London City? Oh, we can hear clapping now again, for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure. You know, the force to clap passengers on board here are sometimes a little confusion. Let's just come in for a landing here. Speed brakes are armed. Oh, man. Just hearing these sounds here again. The landing gear warning. Oh, man. Now, London City, um, an airport known for, you know, not the smoothest landings, let me just say that. And now, 777, known for not making, you know, a bit of our smooth landings at short runways, for, ex for especially. So, I'm not quite sure. Let's try this now. I mean, generally, I have <laughs> Are we gonna make, like, a smooth landing in this video? I'm gonna definitely try my best. Let's try this now. Come on. Nope, not okay. Not okay. Not okay. God damn it. For that, we'll need a little bit of speed here. We're a little slow. This plane likes to really go slow at kind of these speeds here. Come on. Slower, slower, slower. So we have more control of how the plane is going up. Or if it's even going up at all. So we're just gonna try to really come in smoothly here. 
Come on. Yes. Now that's even been worse than the first landing. God damn it. You know, I feel like this is a bigger challenge than flying big planes at Lukla Airport or something. Because now I really have to care about getting these planes smoothly touched down. And, uh, oh no, we're stalling out above the city. Welcome back to Swiss Desert One. It's been a crash. God damn it. And, uh, actually crashing the plane actually causes the flight simulator to crash as well. It's gone. It's dead. Great. All right. Oh no, don't die again. We had to sub. Oh. That's the problem about this plane. It, the handling is a uh, very, very, well, what can I say? Soft. Very big plane, of course. So an approach like this between buildings and all that stuff isn't all that easy in this little 777 here. I mean, it's not a little plane. It's a big 777. Okay. Now, I'm really trying to concentrate now. Getting this plane landed absolutely smoothly. I mean, come on. We've done a few tries now. You know, this has to work sometime, right? All right, let's do this. How? Okay, okay. Time to try this again here in this uh, 777 plane. Not a very stabilized approach. It would be quite a nightmare to fly this plane under London City like in real life. Because again, this runway isn't particularly long and this is not a very handleable plane. Wasted. I mean, I can tell this is definitely not a butter machine, the 777, is it? Okay, come on. Full power. All right, coming in. Let's stay at this speed here, 160 knots. That's a little fast, but now I have full control of when the plane is exactly touching down and, you know, when not. And uh, I think that'll, you know, work somewhat with a smooth landing or something. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, landing, coming up. Yes, yes. Ooh, wow, that has finally worked. Good, 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 good. Let's go ahead and stop. Oh, damn, that's been an accidental butter. Oh, I think we were lucky. We were very lucky. That was nice. Let's go ahead and get this plane stopped, too, because that would have been an epic failure if we were to actually just not stop here now. But we did stop. Come on, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Good. All right, okay. You guys, for the first time ever, we've done a smooth landing here in the 777 plane. I mean, I mean, 60 feet per minute, that's been, like, fairly good. Then we crashed into that... Nah, whatever. Let's just ignore the fence. Let's just check out this touchdown itself. Mm, nice. Okay. I gotta look at this again. You guys, that was actually pretty good. That was actually like quite, quite an early touchdown as well. Pretty on point here. That was perfect. Finally, we've I've mastered the 777, everybody. This has finally worked. Look how long I kept the nose up, by the way. Look how long that worked. Jesus Christ. Okay. That was absolutely smooth in London City, too. Damn. Never had that before. Okay, 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 I, I kind of do approve the 777. Alright, never mind. I mean, it's, it's totally not easy to handle this plane properly. Getting this plane landed so smoothly and so early on a runway is very not easy. But, we have actually uh, <laughs> landed now. That was quite successful. Great. So, 777 checklist done. We've done a smooth landing in this plane, haven't we? So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Hey to all my members here on YouTube like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Dilo, Tyler Park, In from Osk, Gurkham, uh, Stefan Schmidhofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, Laird Islama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Science, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.